Career growth is a must for any quantity surveyor and that's why there is a set of skills that you need to learn and master in order to grow your career and become successful. And in this video, I'm going to exactly explain these skills required and let's start. Hello and welcome to Coast Engineering Professional. I'm Ahmed Adel and here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your coast engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. And now let's start with the quantity surveyor skills. And as you can see here, I love to outline everything. So for the quantity surveyor skills here, we have technical skills and soft skills and digital and tech skills and more on these skills later on. But Generally, our skills will come under these three main categories. And here, let's start with the technical skills. So what are the technical skills that should be there for a quantity surveyor? Of course, we have the measurement and takeoff, and of course, the cost estimation and BOQ preparation. And we have also the construction contracts and legal knowledge. This is a very important skill and the value engineering and cost control. And of course, the project cash flow and budgeting. And now let's talk on these skills one by one to explain more about each of them. So here under the technical skills, we have the measurement and takeoff, which is the first skill. And under the measurement and takeoff, we have the ability to measure quantities accurately using standards like NRM and SISM and POMI. And these are standard methods of measurement so that we should be able to measure the quantities in accordance with these standard methods of measurement. This is a very important skill that any QS should have under the measurement and takeoff. And also for the tools that we can use, we can use AutoCAD, we can use Revit, Bluebeam Review, Creo Takeoff, Plan Swift, whatever tool you have to decide on the tool. And once you know which tool you will be using and you know the standard that you will be using for the takeoff, then in that case, we can say that you have mastered the measurements and the takeoff, which is the first skill we have here. And the next skill that we want to talk about is the cost estimation and the BOQ preparation. And under this skill, we need to know these things. We need to understand how to break down costs into labors, materials and machinery. And of course, subcontractors and overheads. So all of this comes under the cost breakdown. And we need to understand the importance of rate analysis and the cost databases. You should have rates and quotations for all the activities and all of that. And of course, the software that we will be using for the cost estimation, something like Excel or any other cost estimation software that you might be using. So just shortly, this is what comes under the cost estimation and BOQ preparation, which is also a very important technical skill of a quantity surveyor. And the next technical skill is construction contracts and legal knowledge. So here understanding standard forms of contracts like FedEx, GCT, NEC, contract types, we should be able to understand these standard forms of contracts. And also we need to know how to manage the variations and claims and disputes and such things. So these are very important skills. And the reason we are discussing the technical skills is that you need to know the road so that you can go and you can reach where you want to reach. If you want to grow, these are the skills that you should work on one by one and acquire. And the next technical skill we have here is the value engineering and cost control. And under this one, we need to understand how to analyze project costs to suggest cost saving alternatives without sacrificing or compromising the quality. So also giving feedback on value engineering opportunities and how to control the cost of the project and how to save and all of this is also very important. And of course, also the project cash flow and budgeting is a very important technical skill that you should have. So here we are talking about the cash flow forecasting, how to forecast the cash flow and monitoring project financial health using methods like earned value management or earned value analysis. This is also very important technical skill that any quantity surveyor should have. So this is just a quick summary of the technical skills. And these are skills that require technicals of a quantity surveyor. But these are not the only set of skills required. We also need some soft skills here, as we can see. And for the soft skills, we have the negotiation and communication. And we have the analytical and the problem solving skills and the attention to detail. And of course, the time management and the organization. And I know now you will say, Ahmed, what is this CV talking, man? These are just 
general things that we just put in the CV for whatever and nobody reads them. Yes, I can agree with you that they are just put in each and every CV and maybe nobody reads them. But believe me and trust me when I say these are very important skills if you really have them. And let's have a look at them now just one by one so that we can see what we have here. And the first soft skill we have here is the negotiation and the communication. And under this soft skill we will have things like dealing with the subcontractors, suppliers and all the stakeholders from your company or from the consultant or from the client and also writing clear contractual letters and reports and of course writing emails and attending meetings and all of these good stuff and they are very important and an example of the communication is what we are doing now now i am communicating with you because for me you are a stakeholder and i am giving you this presentation so this is some kind of communication so you might find yourself in a meeting trying to do the same thing you are just communicating something related to your project to your client or to your consultant or even to the project manager whoever so this is a very important soft skill and the next soft skill we have here is the analytical and the problem solving skills and under this one we will have things like identifying cost discrepancies and project risks so you should be able to for example open a boq and very quickly from the summary sheet understand is this estimate is right or wrong is it on the higher end lower end if there is a mistake from the boq summary section you can see the mistake is coming in which boq division so all of these things will come under the analytical and problem solving skills and this is a very important soft skill by the way and the next one we have here is the attention to detail so why is that because the small errors can lead to huge financial losses in estimates and contracts and all of that an example of this can be the rate of the item is 1000 you put it 100 so you just forgot a zero but when this thousand is multiplied to the quantity or when the hundred is multiplied to the quantity it's a very big error and it's an item that is completely like out of the drill and all of that so you should be able to be careful when you are estimating when you are doing variations and in all these aspects so very important soft skill again and now to the time management and organization and this will be like handling multiple projects meeting deadlines and keeping records up to date or even handling some tasks or multiple tasks in the same project because you will be sitting let's say doing some measurements and then the project manager will ask you to attend a meeting with him and at the same time you will find a subcontractor coming angry and fighting for his payment so you have to handle your time well and organize your time so that you can do multitask and you can finish everything on time and if you are in the tendering department so sometimes you will be in a rush because some tenders time is due or the submission is due or something so you have to be able to manage your time very well and you have to be an organized person even on your computer how you folder the things you should be able to access all the information easily and all of that so all of this comes under this very important soft skill as well and now that we are done with the soft skills let's look at the next set of skills which is the digital and tech skills and here tech skills is different from technical skills that we talked about here under the digital and tech skills we have excel for qs and we have professional communication and collaboration tools and we have ai and automation in qs and we have of course the building information modeling and all these good stuff so let's go into them one by one so for first one which is the excel for qs which is a skill that comes under the digital and tech skills we should learn the excel formulas and how to format and data management all of this for accurate cost estimation and reporting and you will be using excel like almost daily in everything or every task that is required to you because you are mostly working with numbers so excel is very important in this case and using also things like pivot table, VLOOKUP or different formulas and macros to automate calculations and analyze data efficiently. Maybe this is something more advanced, but it's worth mentioning. You have to look into these things, see if you can make use of these Excel functions and all the features that are available so that it can save you time and make your life easy. And also don't forget the professional communication tools. So things like Microsoft Outlook for the managing the emails effectively and the scheduling meetings and all of that. And also things like Microsoft Teams and Zoom for virtual meetings and file sharing and PowerPoint or Canva for creating professional presentations 
for project report and cost breakdown and all of that. And actually this video is an example of this here. I am using Canva to make this presentation. So what I am doing right now, I am presenting this to you. So now I am professionally communicating with you and I am telling you all this stuff that we are discussing here. And also for the emails and for the outlook, very important point here is to write for the future as well as you are writing for today. So whenever you are writing an email, don't think of this email that it will be read only today or tomorrow. No, when you are writing, keep in your mind that this email will be opened again after six months or one year to understand the narrative. And this is the mentality that you should have when you are writing emails. You should write for the future. When you are writing, make sure that you are writing something that can be taken as a reference in the future for the exact narrative or the story of the email. So this is very important. And now we are like in the digital era and all of that. So Microsoft Teams and Zoom and all, it will save you time when you can do the meetings online. You don't have to take your car and go spend time and all of that. So this is very important part as well. And the next tech skill that we want to talk about here is the AI and automation in QS. Even maybe this is not very widely applied and everyone is using it. You should start looking into the AI powered cost estimation tools because maybe they are transforming the industry by improving accuracy and reducing the manual work and of course reducing the time required to do anything. So if there is such a thing, you should be looking into that. And it is very much worth mentioning here. So here examples, AI based quantity takeoff software and automated cost estimation or benchmarking. So these things are available. I have seen some videos on them, but I haven't tried them myself, but I tried ChatGPT in some of the videos here on the channel. And using that, I was able to do many tasks. And actually to give you a very good example on how I am really utilizing the AI, this presentation that you are seeing now and this video that you are seeing now, the outline is completely done by the AI, by ChatGPT. So we have categorized all these skills under the technical skills and the soft skills and the digital and tech skills and what comes under each category and even the explanation and all of that. And you might say, Ahmed, because you are talking on YouTube, so you are using that. No, it can be used in your life. You just have to try. Just open it and see if you have any task. Just go and ask the question and see what the reply that you will get. And if you have doubt, just ask the AI or ChatGPT, can you do so and so? If it answers yes, then yes, try. So this is very important digital and tech skills and AI is here to stay. So get into this right now, get into this right now. Very important. And the next one is of course the BIM, the building information modeling. And recently I started looking into the modeling and all of that. And I have my own opinion on this, so I'll keep it for myself. But for you, just start trying to start the Revit and Mavis Works and BIM 364 quantity takeoff and cost estimation and the clash detection. This is very important and it is also worth mentioning again. And also how BIM improves collaboration between QS engineers and the project manager. This is also there. So if you found an opportunity to get into something like that, don't miss because it is also a very important skill. And again, it saves time because now everything is fast, quick. So such tools will save you a lot of time. And now to the most interesting part of the video, which is the career growth tips. And you will remember this in the future and you will say, Ahmad Adel told me this, certifications and professional qualifications, please. This is very, very important. So things like RICS, Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, and CIOB, the Chartered Institute of Building, and Australian Institute for Quantity Surveyors. If you can get professional qualifications from these recognized entities, it will give you very much weight and it will help your career in a ways that I cannot even explain here. Nobody now is looking to which university you graduated from or what experience you have. The first thing they will ask, especially for quantity surveyors, is what professional qualifications do you have? And trust me, these things are not easy to obtain. You have to be a real professional in order to get one of these. So if you attend one of these courses and you really get this certificate or one of these certificates or professional qualifications, it will make a difference in your life and in your career. And of course, networking and here the CPD, which is the 
continuous professional development and once you have any of these certifications you have to keep learning because this is how you can keep your credentials up to date and all of that and of course also this part helped me personally a lot which is the freelancing and side hustles for QS professionals so for example you might be a QS working in a big company but if you start to help small businesses like villa contractors to estimate the cost to do variations to do these things like it's a side hustle it will be done parallel to whatever you are doing as a full time this also can help your career because you will learn so much from these small projects because when you are working on a big project you are just a gear in the machine but for these small projects you will be everything so it will add to you something and these three are our career growth tips here and actually this video is a continuation of a video that I have done earlier which is the quantity surveyor duties today we discussed the skills in that video we discussed the quantity surveyor duties and you can find this video here next to me and you should watch that next because people watched it and they liked it and I hope you will like it as well and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one